Hi. Praise defined is to acclaim. We are here saying we need to give praises to the Lord God Almighty in season and out of season. That means when you are happy or you are not happy, when it's happening for you or it's not happening for you, when you feel blessed or you are not blessed, whatever circumstances and situations or situation you may be your, you may find yourself or you may be in or at. We are here to say that we must acclaim him who is the greatest. Acclaim him who is Lord of all and King of Kings. We must send forth his acclamation. We must give him the accolades. We must give him the applause. For whom you are, I worship you. For whom you are, we give you praise. You are God all by yourself, Daddy. <laughs> He is God all by himself. We must cheer him. We must give him commendation. We must always put in a good word for God. Yes. There are times it's like, is he there? Is he hearing? Is he seeing? <laughs> I've told you several how I love to. And I still would love to do that. But my senior pastor doesn't allow me. He said, don't God. I just love to be outside from 12. I said, God, look at me. Do you see me? Can you see me? <laughs> Can you see me? I'm sure that's in the house. You are sleeping. No, look at me. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> but wherever you are at, God is everywhere. Remember Jonah in the belly of the fish. In the belly of the fish. In the turbulence of the high sea. Jonah prayed and God had him. So wherever you are. In the valley. In your kitchen. In your sitting room, in your bedroom, in your toilet, in the marketplace, on the land, and in the sea, when you are airborne, so many miles up there, wherever you are, the Lord is a portion in the land of the living. Our God is good forevermore. The Lord is a portion in the land of the living. Our God is good forevermore give him praise for econium upon him give him tributes for whom he is praise him if you can praise him for what he's doing for you praise him for who he is look around you and you see the greatness of our god you see him in the trees in the skies in the animals one of my best documentary is documentary about the sea when you watch the documentary of the sea, you'll be amazed at how I miss so much turbulence, rage of the storms and all. Underneath, there is a calmness and another world. You see beautiful, beautiful fishes. Of course, the wildlife is also very beautiful. Great is our God. In the discourse between um, Job and God, when God began to ask Job questions, he talked about the creation and there you find a beautiful write up in honor of the God that is the greatest the God that is mighty the God that is awesome about five or six verses of scriptures chapters was what God used to begin to ask Job questions and when he began to ask him questions, Job was speechless. He was speak, speechless. Job 38, you see that it says the Lord speaks. The Lord speaks and he began to ask. Then Job answered. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkness cancelled by words without knowledge? A lot of the times we darken words without knowledge open our mouths and we say things we ought not to say. We ask questions, we ask not to ask questions. But immediately bring yourself under control. Take dominion of your thoughts. Second Chronicles 3.5 says that 
The weapons of our warfare are not kind of, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. What are the strongholds? Your mindsets. Pulling down imagination and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of our God. I repeat that verse of scripture. Second Corinthians 10 from verse 3 to 5. Bring down your thought pattern under subjection. Otherwise you speak with that cancer. And God in heaven will be asked, he said, who is this? Like he asked Job and his friends, that darkness cancer by words without knowledge. A lot of things we don't know. The Tarunomi 29, 29 says that the secret things belong to God, but those that have been revealed belong to us. Even the greatest of the prophets don't see it all. So we don't blame them. We don't... Um, Say, ah, but why? He should have seen this. He should have. No, 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 no. We don't do that because there are also men. John 1 6 said, There was a man called John. There are also men. They are mortal men. You see that with the issue of the Shumanite woman. The Shumanite woman's son died. But even the prophet Elisha, as powerful as he was, he didn't see the death of the child. So let's go to him who is all seeing, who is all hearing, who is all knowing. Job 38, Job 39, 40, 41, 42, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let me just say 4 because 5, Job 42 is a turn around for Job, how God turned around his fortunes. But in 4 chapters from Job 38, the Lord began to speak and to talk about his greatness, his awesome power of how he created the heavens. Genesis 1, 1 tells us that in the beginning he created the heavens and the earth. Job, we see from chapter 30, begins to give us insight into some of his creation. And he was asking Job, where were you? <laughs> when I did this, where were you? When I did that, where were you? So we are here to say that we must give God the acclaim. We must give him the accolades. We must celebrate him. We must clap for him. We must magnify him. We must give him tribute for whom he is. If you can't for the things he's doing for you, worship him for whom he is. It is a laudation. Looking, defining the word praise. It is an ovation. It is a tribute. It is an admiration. It is to cheer, to compliment. It is to pay tribute. To adore him, to bless him, to exalt him, to give him thanks, to glorify him, to magnify him. These are the definitions of praise and much, much more than all of this. But we are here to say that while we can look at all of the definitions, we are saying that no matter what, praise him, worship him, for whom he is, the great I am that I am. Psalm 24 verse 1 tells us that the earth and the fullness thereof belong to our God. Colossians 2.10 is the head of all principalities and powers. So let's worship him for whom he is. The God that does not sleep, that does not slumber. Concerning your matter, concerning my matter, he's not sleeping. There are times we think that he's not seen. <laughs> you know? But the Bible is full of so much examples. The story of Lazarus. Lazarus was dead four days. And when our Lord and Savior Jesus was called, he didn't answer them. But after four days, he said, let us go. He said, ah, must have been smelling by now, don't bother. <laughs> he said, no, let's go that the name of the Lord will be glorified. So I believe very sincerely that that situation, that problem, that challenge, that may make you not want to praise God for whom he is, is to the glory and praise of his name alone. It is God wanting to magnify himself. God wanting to exalt himself to show that he is mighty, mighty, mighty. Oh, glorious. He is lifted high above all. A God is mighty, mighty, mighty. He is glorious. He is lifted high above all. Lord, we worship you, Almighty God. You are lifted high above all. 
Lord, we worship you. Almighty God, you are lifted high above all. <laughs> he is mighty, 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 oh, glorious. He is lifted high above all. Lord, we worship you. Almighty God, you are lifted high above all. He is lifted above all. He is the great I am that I am. None can be compared to him. None like him. There's no one, there's no one like my Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like him. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There is no one, there's no one like him. I don't walk, I walk, I, no one, no one. I don't search, search, search. No one, no one. I don't look, look, look. No one, no one. There's no one, there's no one like him. Let's worship him. Let's magnify him. Let's adore him. Let's give him the praise for whom he is. Stanza two of the hymnal we sang said, Thou blessed Son of God has bought me with thy blood, Jesus my Lord. Oh, how great is your love. All other loves above love that I daily prove, Jesus my love. Are you out there and you can't say the same? You can't say that Jesus is your love. You can't praise him for whom he is. You can't magnify him for whom he is. We are urging you to have a change of mindset. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave, he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting eternal life. Jesus has come that you may have everlasting eternal life. He has come that you may have joy, may have peace. He has come that you may be happy. He has come that I may be happy. He has come that all may be well for you and me. All you need to do, I have done mine, and that's why I'm here singing his high praise. No matter the condition, in season and out of season, I have chosen to worship him, to magnify him, because he has shown me so much love, so, so, so much love. You want to join in praise of this high God? You want to have an experiential work with this God? All you need to do is to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin, have mercy on me. The minute you say that prayer, as simple as it is, your sins are forgiven. Get a Bible, get a daily devotional. But always advocate a book Bible in order not to be distracted and a, a daily devotional. I also use the Android offline. <laughs> when I want to use the Bible, I off the data and I open my offline Bible and I'm able to read because with the Android you can move, you can you know turn around, you're on your bed, you're in the car, you're in, you know you can read. But if the data is on, so much distraction, then you open it before you navigate to where you want to go to. The Bible they will just be bombarding you using different things to show you pornography and all that. So to avoid distractions, I go offline and I study, study. The Bible is not obsolete. The Bible is your need for the hour. The Bible is what you need to be able to go through this life, to navigate this life successfully, to come out unbothered, unscratched, unhindered, untampered with, sane, healthy, successful. The Bible, B-I-B-L-E, is what you need. Having accepted Christ Jesus as personal Lord and Savior, sit down and study. Learn. The lessons therein, use them, run with them. And I'll show you that your life, my life can never, will never, never remain the same again. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Overseer, Band of Love Ministries International. It's a great honor and a great privilege for me to come your way. Like our YouTube channel, Church on the Air, Band of Love Ministries, you type the name Edith Atake, my account will come up. So many messages loaded for you. This is I give hope, that give joy, strength, encouragement, so much, reconciling you to your maker. On Facebook, by the special grace of God, we have five vibrant pages, such as scriptures, nation building, 
when you pray and I pray, ministers of the church. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. God bless you. Thank you.